Canine Blaze and myself finished up our patrol school uh, about a year and a half ago, and we've been partners ever since. He is the fifth dog that I've worked here with the city of Apopka. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis, what we do is we uh, respond to calls that are in, that are in progress calls. Uh, we back up a fellow officers. We may respond to missing uh, persons calls. Uh, some of the different tasks that Canine Blaze does, uh, he apprehends bad guys. He uh, can do building searches, area searches, uh, tracking. Uh, he can find articles. Uh, and his specialty search is also uh, narcotics. In the beginning of training, uh, a canine and its handler, they don't know each other. So we have to spend countless hours together to build a bond, a friendship, one that's going to last the uh, lifetime of our career. Um, Liven. Liven. He doesn't know me, I don't know him. So we spend the time, we get to know each other. In the long run, he knows when I get excited, he gets excited. He can be asleep in the back seat of my car. Maybe a tone goes out and I get really excited. He wakes up and he's ready to go. When we're out in the field, we work extremely well hand in hand. I know his job is, is pretty simple. It's to go out and find a bad guy by the use of his nose. My job is to know what he's telling me, what his ears are telling me, what his, what his tail is telling me, what his body language is. And the only way I know that is by spending countless hours with him. Now we work 40 hours a week together, but also when we're off, he's just a part of my family. He hangs out in the pool with me. And again, we're spending the time, we're building that bond, the friendship that we have. This may just look like an ordinary dog, but it's a highly trained police canine. Our selection process for our canine program is extremely strict. We select nothing but the best of the best dogs that we put out to protect the citizens of Apopka. Uh, the breed that we currently use are Belgian Malinois, and we have found those, that breed dog of dog to fit our program extremely well. Um, with our selection of our dogs, we look for dogs that almost have an on and off switch. We want a dog that can relax when it's at home with our family. And plus, we do so many public demonstrations that we want them to be able to work around kids uh, at different schools, different churches, different Boy Scout, Girl Scout clubs. Um, but when it's time to go to work and we put the harness on them and we go look for a bad guy, they flip the switch and it's all, it's all business for them. We rely on the natural abilities of the dogs especially their sense of smell, to locate a bad guy in a fraction of the time that it would take a whole shift of police officers to locate. Um, they are extremely agile. Uh, we can teach these dogs to go through, above, over, in between, any kind of obstacle. It, it, it just depends on how creative we can be. These dogs are extremely, extremely s strong. Sometimes when he's actually a uh, locating a bad guy, it takes everything I have to be able to hold him back uh, because he is so strong. I knew long before I became a police officer that being a canine handler, canine officer, was something that I wanted to do. I grew up with animals, with dogs, and I fell in love with them. When I first got the opportunity about two years in of being a police officer to enter into the canine program, uh, I was extremely excited about it. Uh, Fifteen years later, I'm still handling a dog. I'm very passionate about our program. Uh, I love working with the dogs every day that I come to work. I love uh, providing this type of service that not too many officers are able to do for the citizens here in Apopka.